I'm gonna show you how to do a French knot with uh, bullion and how to do um, some looping. So first of all, when you get that long piece of bullion, you're gonna split it to have pieces that are smaller. And then you're just gonna cut with your gold work scissors. So, those are my gold work scissors. They are from Kai. They are the best because of this angle. So when you cut the bullion, you are not annoyed by the handle of the scissors. You will find the link in the description. So when you have little pieces like this, you can start cutting. So what I do is to go faster, I always line them up and then I'm just gonna start cutting. In gold work, uh, it's really helpful to have those kind of tools, which is uh, a pricker and a meller. Uh, you will find also the link in, in the description. It's not exactly this one, but it's something similar and that works as, as well. Um, I will use this one more for the French knot and then this one will be used more for the cut work. So now I'm gonna cut some threads, some yellow thread, double, double thread. I'm using a needle number 12 from uh, John James. They are the, the thinnest. I'm gonna show you how to do the French knot. So when you start, you always do a stitch that is just here to secure. Then I can wax my thread, some bee wax. And then what I do is I go with my fingers. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of bullion. And I bring it down and then I'll just loop it, go back down and then the aim is to have the piece of bullion going around the needle. Yeah. And then finish it. So that's for the French knot with bullion. And for looping, Just take a piece of bullion and then you just go back almost in the same hole. And this is when the meller or the pricker can be helpful because that means you're not gonna break your piece of bullion. When you're using uh, some smooth bullion like this one, it's harder to use and much easier to actually damage it when you stitch. That's why it's very important to actually um, use the meller or the pricker to guide you the loop down until the stitch is properly, properly made. So once again, you grab a piece of bullion. And you go back. And that's the little loop. To stop, what you what you can do is doing three little stitches inside each other. Of course, you're gonna choose an area where uh, you know that it will be covered uh, by the embroidery, which is not the case here, but imagine if it's the case. And then I'm just gonna do three stitches inside each other, very tiny.
and then you can go back at the top and just cut if you don't want any knot at the back. 